Welcome, my name is Miss Stephanie, and I'm here for a special story time to celebrate Native American Heritage Month. This first book is called When We Are Kind, and it was written to prompt conversations for young readers about um, being kind to our neighbors and our family and friends. When we are kind, I am kind when I help my family. I am kind when I share with my friends. I am kind when I take my dog for an extra long walk. I am kind when I help my neighbor. I am kind when I bring food to my elders. I am kind when I only take from the earth what I need. I am kind when I take care of myself and get a good night's sleep. It's very important to be kind to ourselves. I feel joy when my family and I are kind. I feel happy when my friend is kind to me. I feel comforted when my cat is kind to me. I feel loved when my elders are kind to me. I feel grateful when the earth is kind to me. I feel respectful when I am kind to myself. When we are kind, we remember we are all related. The end. It's very important to be kind to others and to like your and to yourself. This next book is called I Sang You Down from the Stars. This is a story that shines a light on traditional understanding of the author's nation and many other indigenous peoples globally that babies choose their parents. As she waits for the arrival of her new baby, a mother-to-be gathers gifts to create a sacred bundle. I sang you down from the stars. Let's see. I sang you down from the stars. I loved you before I met you, before I held you in my arms. I sang you down from the stars. As I searched for your eyes in the sky, I saw a shooting star. I followed it to a fluffy white eagle plume. I held on to it, the first gift in a bundle that will be yours. Summer was fading into fall on the day I found out that you had chosen to make my body your first home. Together we went to gather cedar and sage, medicines that will keep our spirits strong through the winter. When you are old enough, I will teach you how to use them. Into your bundle they go. As the north wind blew, you grew bigger and stronger. Waiting for you taught me about patience and love. With care in my hands, I sewed your first star blanket. With each stitch, I whispered a prayer for you and thought about wrapping you up warm and safe, like you are now in my belly. Into your bundle it goes. As the ice began to melt, we visited the river. When our people travel the waterways, the song of the rushing rapids calls us home. I picked up a small stone for you so that you always remembered you belong to this place. Into your bundle it goes. You arrived in the spring with the waters that come 
when the ice breaks and the rivers flow again. For the first time after our long wait, I looked down at you and found stars in your eyes. Our hearts danced together. I honored your journey from the sky by passing on the gifts I gathered for you. This, my baby, is your sacred medicine bundle. First, I wrapped you in your star blanket and held you close to me. The fluffy plume I found when I followed the shooting star is a reminder that there is beauty all around us. We just have to look and see. Medicines of cedar and sage are for you to keep your spirit strong. When you hold this stone from the river, remember that the land carries stories, and so do you. Family and friends came from near and far to welcome you. One by one, they held you and greeted you. You brought them so much love and joy, I saw that you, my baby, are also a sacred bundle. You were my baby bundle. And this next book is called Fried Bread. Fried bread is food. Flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar. All mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puppy, like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color, golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth, light like snow and cream, warm like rays of sun. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. It's the most important time. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history. The long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our world. With unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place. Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware and on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California. Cities and lands we call home. Fry bread is nation. Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Anandaga, Iguala Sioux, Narragansett, Navajo, Nipmuc Seminole, Shoshone, Sac and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large and small north, south, east, and west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and foreign, old and new, we come together. Fry bread is us.
We are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. The end. Now there's a recipe from the author at the end of this book for fry bread. Thank you so much for joining me for my special story time to celebrate Native American Heritage Month. We have a selection of books in our collection written by people from many different cultures and many different tribes. Uh, if you would like to learn more, please check out our local place at Angel Mound. There's a lot more information there.